This is Gordon Hopkins with the Fairbury Journal News. I'm at the Playmore Cafe, uh, which has been closed just about a year now, and I am here with the new owners. I'm hoping to see it open up really uh, fairly soon. Why don't you folks uh, introduce yourself to the nice people of Fairbury? I'm Justin Slater. I'm Bryce Robinson. Now they will be. They they are hoping to be open by the 15th of August, which is just a few days. Um, we'll be getting with the uh, cafe, and Bryce is the chef here, and your accent tells me that you are not local, so mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit about yourself, right. a little bit your background? Yeah, um, I am South African by birth, um, been here for about six years, um, fantastic country, love it, um, love the people, and everything about it just intrigues me, so I'm here for the long haul. And how about you? Uh, I'm originally from Kansas. Moved up here a few years ago. It's be eight years ago, I think. And doing odds and ends. I spent the better part of 15 years back in Kansas working on bar business. So we we'll come to make a run out of here on our own. Now you're starting by opening the cafe. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the menu that we can be looking forward yes, to? Yes, yes, of course. Um, I we, we are going to do a lot of playing with, with our menus as such. Um, to start off, we're going to go simple yet elegant. Um, I'm not going to go too over and above for, you know, fancy-wise, if you want to call it. Um, we're going to go with uh, good, fresh produce, local produce. Um, uh, and I just want to make it uh, as fresh and as clean as possible. Um, such as the menu will consist of, um, you know, your regular hamburgers with a twist, of course. It's not going to be your regular, you know, run-of-the-mall beef patty, lettuce, tomato, and whatever you know, catch up on it. But no, we're going to go and, and do a little bit of an um, Asian twist with, with, you know, your, your Asian sauces. And um, Cuban sandwiches are very popular. I, I, I love good Cuban with good bread, and, you know, it's, it's all about the base, I guess. Okay. Um... It is important, if you're going to be running a restaurant, that you know how to cook. Right. Is there anything in your background that tells us you know how to cook? Yes, uh, I've spent about 15 years in the culinary arts business. Uh, I got two degrees in patisserie as well as cordon bleu. Um, I've, wow, cooked for numerous famous people, um, as well as, uh, well, John Travolta was one of them here from out of the United States. Um, and I cook for president, presidents of you know my country back home, South Africa. Um, I've been, I've worked on hands-on workshops with Anthony Royal Thompson, uh, which is one chef that <coughs> cooked for the Queen of England, um, as well as Gordon Ramsay. Uh, we did a couple of hands-on workshops with him too. Um, so yes, I know how to cook. I know how to put things together. And <laughs> so yeah, uh, and and I'm grateful for it because it's it's a. To me, it's a great skill to have. Yeah. Okay. The uh, restaurant will be opened up right away, but I know the other side of business. Uh, Justin, can you tell us what your plans are for that? Our plans are to pull the bowling alley out. Uh, we're going to use the lanes that, to make a dance floor and a stage to bring in live music. And also rent out to corporate events, uh, wedding receptions because we haven't had the fire marshal in yet to find out the exact occupancy yet, but we're figuring somewhere around 400 is going to be the occupancy, so we can accommodate very large groups. Um, like I said, we're hoping to be open by the end of the year. But and you're planning to have live music? Yes, yes. 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 We're yes. going to start out with local bands, but eventually down the road we would like to get larger bands in, um, depending on And how about the uh, new name of the business? We are going without maids. It is an amalgamation of our kids' names. It's just fun for families to come and enjoy live music, eat great food, and enjoy company of others. And uh, I think that is our biggest goal, is the people um, and family. 